Hey game devs, this is Dan with You Contribute Games, and in this video we're going to continue our health manager tutorial series by taking a look at the update function. Let's take a few minutes and talk about the update function. Now within Unity, the update function is a protected name function, which means that it has a specific purpose within the Unity game engine and the Unity game engine is going to do something specific with that. So what does Unity do with the update function? Well, it's going to call the update function each and every frame iteration and perform all of the code tasks within that function, every frame. So if your game's running at 30 to 60 frames per second, the update function and all of the code within that is going to get called 30 to 60 times per second. All right. So technically, yes, you could put all of your code that you want to happen within this script inside of the update function, but that's not really going to be a good best practice. What you want to do is break out the functions you want to happen each frame into specialized functions so they can easily be located and updated later. You can then call those functions from inside your update function. It's also going to be beneficial in the event that you want a specific functionality to happen more than once within a frame iteration. You can then simply call that function name more than once in your update function rather than needing to have uh, what could be 50, 100 or more lines of code repeated more than once within your update function. All right, so let's look at the functions we're calling within our update function for the health manager. First is the update health bar which adjusts the health bar visual to match the health values. This is our health slider bar so that we will adjust our maximum health and our current health as needed, depending on our gameplay. Next is the update text, which updates the health text visual to match the health values. Now this is our uh, numeric or percentage representation on the screen of the player's or enemy's health as we play through. Now both of those function calls are going to be wrapped within an if statement that checks to see if their um, related variable is set to null so that in the event we don't need a health slider bar or we don't need that text visual or maybe we just forgot to link those within the scene hierarchy we're not going to get a null reference variable in those instances all right so next we have our damage flash and heal flash these are going to identify if specific visual indicators should happen and if so perform the steps to show these to the player you know if you recall from our intro that's going to be the uh, flashing images of the blood splatter the heal that that we have in the demo i call that the the call of duty effect right so if the player gets hit what once they're damaged it kind of flashes until they um, heal up or specific time has elapsed the last function we're going to call within our update function is the lock min max health function which validates that the current health is within the proper range and adjusts if needed so that if we have for some reason healed our player above the maximum health at the end of each update function we're checking that and we can drop that back down to the maximum health all right, and that's going to keep us with locked into that range that we've set with our minimum and maximum health value. Now, don't worry, guys, we're going to dive into each one of these individually so that you get a, a full understanding of what happens within each of these functions and in turn what's happening each and every frame within our game under our health manager. All right, so tune into the next video, guys, where we're going to cover the get and set functions of our health manager and identify how uh, another script is able to update and find out what the values of our variables are. All right, so as we put this up on screen, I know a lot of you are following along and typing up this code as we go so that you can build your own health manager. But if you decide you want a copy of the health manager we've already built so that you can take a look at it in its entirety, uh, go ahead and click that link below in the description. And that's going to take you to our site where you can easily pick up the health manager demo asset pack, including the script and all of the assets you've seen in the health manager demo. All 
All right. Well, Game Devs, if you're hearing this, then you made it all the way to the end of the video. And if you did that, you should go ahead and uh, move your mouse down and click that subscribe button. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Head over to www.youcontributegames.com and join our newsletter mailing list so you can stay up to date whenever any new content is released. And we'll see you in the next video, guys.